Hi everyone, it's Vershi again. We're back to another challenge, IELTS speaking sample test day. Today is the day 20th. So, let's start it. Oh, I forgot. If you have, if the first time you're watching my channel and about this challenge is more a personal practice, if you would like to continue to watch this, it's probably a band six answer. So, all right, enjoy it. Let's start it. All right, for part one, after getting to know about the personal information, we moving on to another topic. For example, for today is about money. First question, when you go shopping, do you prefer to pay for things in cash or by card? And okay, personally, I prefer to you card credit card and because it's more convenient i don't need to bring cash along and also for safety the reason as well as uh, thief or robbers they prefer to steal cash from you but for credit cards it's uh, not going to happen all right moving on to next question do you ever save money to buy special things. Hmm. Of course, I believe that many people does, and I am no exception. I love some things that, uh, maybe something about technology, new technology, new iPhone, new smartwatch. Uh, something I feel that special. All right, moving on to, actually, I should answer that question about the special things. It's okay, moving on to next question. Would you ever take a job which had low pay? I think I could. It depends on the situation. If uh, I'm in a condition where I need the money for surviving, of course, I would take any job just to uh, get over the day. Uh, but if I have all the necessary that I can provide for a basic uh, life for uh, around a year or two years, I would still wait for the right job to come. Probably that would be the case. All right, moving on to next question. Would winning a lot of money make a big difference to your life? Absolutely. If winning a lot of money, I can change my life completely. The reason is because I already learned a lot about how to control and manage money well. So with a big amount of money, it's going to be a, 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 huge, a helpful resource uh, for um, making me more success. However, if without that, I would still can do it by hand, by my own hand. All right, so moving on to next part, about part two. This part, we have one minute to prepare the notes and two minutes to give a long talk. Describe an interesting discussion you had as part of your work or studies. Hmm. And explain why you found this discussion interesting. Oh, uh -huh. interesting discussion as part of your work. I think I have many discussion in my life, but one that stands out the most uh, is the discussion about how to make money with my mentor. Uh, because during that time, I've just uh, landed this job, 
and I know nothing much about the business world and I, I learned from watching and uh, listening to the uh, the coaching from my mentor and she gave a lot of important I would say or useful advice for me and one of them is how we we make sustainable money flow uh, because during that time my company a lot of people can make quick money a huge amount in fact and and most of them do not take care about uh, side hustle business like uh, a, a type of business that give you a consistent amount of cash flow and like we say sustainable or uh, people nowadays they call that passive income where you you get the money to work for you so you can just uh, lay back and the money still come in uh, consistently and this had opened my uh, horizon of knowledge and the the mindset of looking at uh, money and business overall so i started to 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 find what could be my side business what could how i could uh, work for less but earn for more so those kind of thing is uh, really interesting me during that time when i was young and it's helped me to prepare for the tough uh, future ahead all right that's it Moving on to part three is going to be about expansion of the part two topic, discussion topics, discussing problems with others. First question, why is it good to discuss problems with other people? Hmm, why is it good to discuss problems with other people? Hmm, that's a hard question. I haven't thought about it. I mean, surely there are going to be some good things come out when you discuss your problem with other people. Firstly, when you express your ideas out loud, you may be find the, the solution right when right after you you give your expression. Secondly, you might have some good advice from other people to help you solve the problem quicker in less time than you do alone. So those are the two obvious reasons I would think of for this type of uh, uh, discussion about problems. All right, moving on to the next question. Do you think that it's better to talk to friends and not family about problems? Oh, it depends on the problems, surely. For example, if the problems is about uh, mm, jobs and money and some something like that, your best trusted one is your family members, because maybe they there is less chance that they gonna take advantage of your situation however with friends uh, I heard a lot of cases in general that people lost money to their friends so so for t that type of uh, problems may maybe you not share with your friends but share with your family members however for cases for example like uh, studies relationships your friends is about your age and they they can understand you much better and maybe can give you a better advice about uh, the the feeling uh, around your age uh, so that's what I think and next question is it always a good idea to tell lots of people about a problem uh. I'm sure 
it's a good idea to get advice from some of your close friends and your trusted fellows. However, it's not a good idea to to tell the world about your problem. I heard from some wise men advice uh, something like this: When you in a deep shit, you don't talk. I don't remember the exact quote, but it's something like that, and it is because some people gonna exploit uh, your negative and your weakness during that time. So it's better to keep your mouth shut. Shut. All right. Moving on to next question about communication skills at work. Which communication skills are most important when taking part in meeting with colleges? Communi communication skills are most important. I think that's about emp empathy and uh, I mean the way you understand other people, understand other person feelings so you can be connect with them uh, better and uh, from that point onwards uh, you you can create a better bonding with your colleges and it's help your uh, your communication go smoother than expect because you already understand what really they want and and you know about yourself what you want and you can connect meet in the middle of that all right let's move on the next question what are the possible effect of poor written communication skills at work there's going to be a lot of misunderstandings when it comes to poor written communication skills first of all people misunderstood your your message and because uh, written words uh, usually do not have the right uh, feelings into it so sometimes people read when they are in a bad mood and they they thought that you write something negatively about them so it turned out to be a, a, a bad result in your communication in your communication between your college, your bosses as well. So sometimes uh, you have to give a direct phone call or something uh, to give uh, to give your apology. So uh, misunderstanding is one of them, and I think the other one is uh, create uh, a conflict, uh, un unexpected conflicts. Uh, because uh, still because of un uh, misunderstanding. All right, let's move on to last question of today. What do you think will be the future impact of technology on communication in the workplace? Hmm. For sure, technology help us a lot uh, in a lot of things. It replace a lot of work and for communication it helps us to reach other people faster and more convenient in the past if we talk through the phone without seeing face to face we can misinterpret the meaning and the feelings behind those messages however with today's communications we can see face to face through uh, uh, to to uh, uh, video call uh, technology uh, so in the future maybe we can uh, have more sense beside visualization we can have a smell senses uh, or something or we can see 3d uh, the environment of other people for example so it gives us a better understanding of uh, those messages